meeting to order. It looks like our 710. Okay. Uh, um, any uh, news or letters or comments from any the general public that we've heard about? Anything new? Nope. So, I don't know, do we want to just go through updates of the, the different sure. buildings at this point? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> uh, I will abstain from this since I've missed the last two meetings, but um, so approval of the minutes for January 22nd, 2019. Uh, Move to accept, that's right. Okay. I'll second. I'll second. Uh, any comments, any changes? Okay, that's good. There you go. I agree, it looks very good, even though I can't comment on what happened. <laughs> uh, well, uh, all is in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, opposed? And I abstain. Okay. Um, is there any updates on the senior center? Not since the last meeting, no. They, <coughs> they, um, they did get together. Uh, they had to change the uh, signage for the since they had made, moved the parking lot closer. They, they shortened up that little patio thing there. Mm -hmm. The island type thing was going to be too close to the road for snow removal and stuff. So they voted to uh, put the lettering on the side of the building up higher to save some money and okay. space as far as snow removal and stuff. Because <clears throat> it was going to be right up against the ballers, right up against the parking lots, which was not a good thing. Well, do we know what the status is on the bidding? Is that something that was, is there a closing uh, date? Some bids are this, this past week, and then the uh, 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 IC, I, yes, I know. TC is 20th, it's upcoming, and... Uh, yeah, I think it's like the 21st or 4th or something. Yeah, I want to say... Uh, yeah, I do know that some of the local contractors have been looking at it for sub bids. Oh. So that's kind of good. Yeah, it's moving along, and it's uh, yeah. We didn't. We the only vote we had was for the sign. For the sign. I yes. think that the, that was the just a quick. Really, they voted on the roof color or something silly like that. But as far as the, you know, we're not. <clears throat> all the bids aren't completely due yet. So. Right. We'll know. But they did have the, the pre bid walkthrough. That came through already. That was, was it? That was a couple of Wednesdays ago, I believe. The same day we had the meeting here last Wednesday. It says the twenty third. I think. It'll yeah. Oh, yeah. It was. Okay. I didn't write all the. You know, <laughs> yeah, you're, but it was. Yeah, it was. It's, been, it's been a, it's been a few weeks since that was. I'm getting my two other meetings mixed up days. <laughs> Okay. Uh, fire substation. The fire substation. We just had a meeting. Uh, it was basically just to uh, the plan. The pre bids were uh, the pre plans were presented to the planning board uh, a couple weeks ago, and we had. Uh, I think it's that's next next Tuesday is the planning board hearing on it, and we had voted tonight just to pick the colors for the roof and the uh, siding. So they haven't had planning board hasn't had any site plan review or anything. The, for that. the paper they were they dropped them off to them, presented them to them, but they, the hearing or planning, whatever you want to call it, is um, this coming Tuesday. And is that supposed to be a kind of easy one because mm -hmm. of the space? And all, or? There have been, I guess, a couple questions about like why was it set where it was by some people. Um, and it was basically set there because of environmental stuff, the way the layout of the land was, and for possible future um, future expansion, if it ever wanted to be. Yeah. Um, and then there was a thing, a question that came up about, I guess somebody, uh, Carlos from the uh, design, Berkshire. Berkshire Design, had uh, just kind of laid out this, where some fields could go, different alternatives of different things that could go on the property. not that it's ever going to happen or may or may not happen, but just somebody had brought it up. Like what, baseball field you mean? Or like a baseball yeah, field and a soccer field or something like that. Um, and there were some questions about, you know, that stuff. But I mean, that's just, it was laid out as to show what could possibly go there. It wasn't a given or, you know, yeah. it was just a, you know, 
because there are some environmental issues like there's a little bit of wetlands in the back corner of that so you had to keep away from that and then leave a little bit of room and then there was a couple questions on the driveway somebody thought that the trucks were going to come out right straight across from Stockbridge and they decided that it wasn't a good idea as fire, as fire trucks and stuff go but you also have to have an alternative driveway too so you'd still have to have another driveway somewhere else so but other than that that's everything's a good, and I think they said that that's yeah the bids are going to go out on July 1st or construction to begin July 1st bids go out in April for that they're trying to offset the timing a little bit with the other two Yeah, I always thought the, the building probably could be a little bit more to the north and more closer to the road, but I understand the reasons it's, it's, why. It's, it's close not. to the road if you yeah. stop yeah. to think about backing in a truck. There's not a lot of, mm -hmm. you know, pull, you want to be far enough off mm -hmm. the road so you can, you know, pull up and, you know, drive out or also get in and, you know, mm -hmm. work in front of you're going to, like, wash the truck off the floor. So it's close to the road. It's, it's about as close as you can get. And like they said, to the north, they allowed a little room for, like, another bay or something like that. You know, trying to learn by doing here, mm. so we don't do the same thing over. Okay. You know, not to say that we ever will, but if some, for some reason, it becomes another building or something, you don't, you don't want to limit yourself to right up against something. Yeah, and I think we had figured it was two acres that we would allow for the fire station anyway, which is about what it is. Right. So you know, there's room for something if they ever wanted to put a training yeah. center. I mean, there's a lot of options yeah. th by setting it the way they did. Plus, of the elevation too, mm -hmm. and the you know, some of the other testing and stuff that they've done. So. Um, so I don't have much to report about the library other than it's full steam ahead on the, um, the drawings so that we can get bids put together and that'll be going out. Um, but we had a couple of discussions the last couple of meetings about just not major changes, but there is a, a, an area of the building towards the east side um, that we wanted to uh, revisit just because of how it was laid out so they uh, we basically had the architect go back and redraw a couple of options and then we end up picking one it was mostly for the uh, uh, children's infants room and just to put in a, a more suitable location in terms of scale for their age so uh, there was a few members that weren't happy with how that was set up but um, that uh, arranged for an emergency meeting essentially so we could get the plans going and but it's going to be several months before the plans will be ready so we want to give them as much time as possible and I, I want to say it was going to be uh, April or May that they would be finalized so but uh, we should be on track for uh, being, being <coughs> just behind the senior center to, to get going on that so and the guess agreements all done for the move funding and stuff too so that's another mm -hmm. combo that's I, I just I talked to Suzanne today. I guess now they, she's got access to get in so they can start planning for what's going to be moved and mm -hmm. what they need over there for the move. So. I guess the question is: Is what do we need to do, or if anything, with this whole move, or or is that pretty much the move being taken care well, of? Well, other than this, the remodeling here, most of the moves have, so. are pretty so. well all set. It's you know. Mm -hmm. um, other than getting somebody to physically lug all the stuff, <laughs> but I mean, we've, we've worked on the modification. We're working on the modifications here. The move over there is not going to be a lot of stuff. I think there are a couple of desks, possibly, and a few locking filing cabinets so that they can mm -hmm. keep stuff locked up in between. But they're they're going pretty minimal with their stuff over there because one, there's not a lot of room, and you know, so that that should be a fairly straightforward move. There was a final department head meeting with anybody that was being impacted last Wednesday, I think it was, right? So oh, the, the meeting, yeah, the move meeting, yes. And it went extremely well um, up until uh, the one department downstairs. And, and that's actually been resolved quite nicely. And uh, there, uh, I felt that the meeting really was extremely advantageous. There was a lot of uh, statements of, well, I have this desk that I'm not going to use. Maybe you can use it. And quite honestly, a lot of, there was a, there lot, was a lot of horse trading going on. Yeah, horse trading going on. Yeah, trading going on. It really worked out well. Bookshelves, it, yeah. I mean, it's, and there's, and there are some things that are, you know, some people do need some different equipment. Like, yeah. if we could get five row filing cabinets 
instead of four, you could gain a lot of space. Mm -hmm. You know, they, you know, you keep moving. So forward, you know, what there's a lot of ways we could gain some space if we invested some money into some decent furniture and cabinets and stuff. Based on that, there uh, there was a statement that there's a capital article uh, in regards to f new furniture or new and used furniture that might be needed in here to make everything work a little bit better and that's going to go up at town meeting so that worked out really well yeah. I mean there's and there's a lot of things where even just moving it's like boy I could use a, I don't really need a desk this big but since this is the smallest one we have we're going to use it but you know uh, there was several statements by Gary and a few let's not try to work with the furniture we have let's try to figure out what would be the best for you to do um, your job yes. and then we'll see what we can do with uh, with the capital so i think that worked out extremely well and uh, david phil select board member reached out to the assessors and I think that really helped greatly to squelch the issues there. And I think it's been, it's been working it's very been nicely. Uh, so far, it's been yeah. no uh, we've moved, Gary's moved several of the uh, departments already. And yeah, uh, Concom has been moved. Uh, the accountant's been moved over. Mm -hmm. um, so, and planning board, I think that's all set to move whenever we get the mover to move everything over. Well, they've got to finish emptying out there. And there's going to be some stuff that's going to have to be, you know, jettisoned out of yeah. the building that we're not going to be using once everybody gets done playing Let's Make a Deal. But mm -hmm. it's, it's, and it's this, going along pretty well. Yeah, mm -hmm. and essentially what came out of, we have X amount of dollars to spend. Um, we're going to try to keep it there as close as possible, but... Uh, there is certainly, it was stated at select board meeting that, that we could possibly go over and but let's there's, there's a lot of stuff we, we haven't had, a, you know, I mean, we haven't had a chance to ask a mover for a quote because we don't know what we're moving or to where. That's the first thing you got to do when you ask for a price is we're taking this to there and this to there. And hopefully so not uh, Dutch. <laughs> and, and is it all being done by movers or the highway department? It's going to be done by movers, the big stuff. You know, like planning board they stuff. Were, you guys are. They We've done some in-house stuff. We you know some filing cabinets and desks and small stuff like that. But yeah. you know, trying to move the planning board stuff and the bigger stuff. Like I'm not moving stuff up the stairs to the library. No, so you that need stuff. the right yeah. equipment to do it. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. And the younger backs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but things are going along extremely well. Uh, so what do you think in the next uh, couple of weeks we'll have the rest of the reconfiguration done or is that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're hoping, yeah. Well, we'll see if we have to postpone the safe move. Uh, based it's on the safe move has been moved to Thursday now. We've already, okay, that's well, otherwise we moved that. So. Okay. so that's figured out. I see in the notes that there was discussion about yeah, it. Yeah, no, we, we came to... Uh, he came over and tested it to see if he could pick it up. Mm -hmm. Figured out what it was. He estimated what it weighs, and About we're bracing the floor pounds. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And hopefully Thursday, mm -hmm. once it's not snowing, because the doors are going to be off the front and open for a while. So. Where is it going to go? Who knows? It's going to go to Sullivan Steel. O U T. <laughs> out and gone. Got it. If he takes it, he takes. He it. takes it. Right. Who, who's moving that? Uh, Northeast Steel Director, Directors. Oh, Pete mm -hmm. Cornos. Okay. He's, he's does it a lot. And he came over right. and picked it up with a track jack, the whole front of it. And he says, I like it. He goes, I should be able to get you to brace the floor up. Yeah. So that's tomorrow's deal. Mm -hmm. Those things usually, especially the old ones, filled with uh, asbestos. Robestus concrete, I don't know. He, he did, he put a track jack under it and with one short handle, he picked the whole front and tipped it. So he goes, all right, I should be able to, there's wheels on it, but they only go straight. Yeah, yeah. So he's gonna lay down plywood. Of course, whoever takes it, that's their issue because it's encased anyway. Well, it's all encased, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's a great safe, you have the combination, so. Yeah. Actually, I think Willie was thinking about taking it. <laughs> I don't know what it would cost you to get it in your house. Put <laughs> <laughs> in the garage. He was yeah, actually, definitely a garage. Yeah. He was, was thinking garage about the, the barn. Yeah. Well, the barn, yeah. His barn. That would be a perfect location for it. Well, there's been several people like, ooh, I'll take it, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah then, go ahead. Yeah. We're not moving again. <laughs> <laughs> Three tons is... Wow. 
a lot. Yeah. Well, if you need fireproof storage for your paint or whatever, mm -hmm. you know. Important papers. Put a put a vent in it and put a you know ground <laughs> archive stuff. <laughs> a lot of papers, yeah. All right. Um, I don't know if it makes any sense to go through any of these other buildings at this point because I don't know if, uh, what we know or if there's anything happening. You know, North Adley Hall. We haven't heard much. Uh, uh, then we have the. Uh, we supposedly have a realtor. Have a realtor. I don't yeah. know. I haven't heard anything more about anything. Mike said that, uh, Spanky said that supposedly they guaranteed him they wouldn't, it wouldn't be gone or his, his garage wouldn't be gone until the new one was built. I'm like, okay. I don't know, we're who, on track I don't know who made him that deal, yeah. but. Mm -hmm. But we're on track at least, so at least the building will be started and it's like. Yeah, I don't know how much that. prep they have to do before <laughs> the old dumps. The way I understand it, might be a little bit of research before it goes on the market. So. Mm -hmm. That might be that makes sense. One of the most critical things we've got to really think about is um, because Wednesday is the placeholder for Warren articles. This Wednesday. Okay. So what do we put on mm -hmm. for projects? Are you anticipating any? Did anybody ever uh, draft up any kind of non-binding thing for Russell School? Any kind of anything? No, because we wanted to wait until we got rid of the we made the, the, vote. the first building the we first said we were going to get rid of. We wanted to make, we made a vote to make sure that that was on track before we brought that forward. Okay. So the earliest will be the fall town meeting for that. So um, do we need to go and put some money in for uh, keeping the roof at least leak free um, so the building doesn't deteriorate in the next two years or whatever there was a budget for that wasn't there it's not anymore not because it came out now. if that budget came out and became a, town, a meeting article that we put forward and from what i understand it's all wiped out now so or it's, it's going to be so the, the fund that was dedicated for russell school right got turned into use it on all the other buildings that was a russell school account that it's we had gone. and we spent well we actually thought it was all gone yeah we had some last fall while. And then we found out some of it came back. But then we found out at the same time it was appointed for other projects. So right now I think the only thing that we have left to do that we have money for is, is the it, um, insulation at the this Sally Sally ports. And we don't have the money all the money for the DPW cable ends either, right? We don't have all No. Of them. Those were some of the capital articles. Some of them were funded partially by the Russell School money. There was another project that was done, the salt shed entry roof, that was funded by the Russell School money. There's some other projects that aren't even really part of the building committee thing that were funded by Russell School money. But it's all in conjunction with, it's not like fully capital. It's like capital and 10% of that, or capital and 20% of that. Yeah, I think we're going to be a little short on doing the Sally Port because of the, you know, we had those estimates from well, that was for the insulation. We didn't have for taking the lights and the ceiling down. Well, we had 4,500 for the uh, ceiling, but I don't think that that was actually funded. I don't think it was funded. Yeah. I think that was a, yeah. On track to be the next Russell School. So we have those projects. We have to refund the gable ends. Um, well, the gable end was funded partially by capital right. and partially by sewer and water fees, which I don't think is going to happen. Yeah, so, so the, the, the Sally Port work was 10.5 uh, 10 for the insulation. We had 4,500 for the but ceiling. I don't think the 4,500 was ever funded. The Sally Port door was 4,200. Yeah, we never, that wasn't funded either. Those yeah, were so, we had. so that, I think we need to put that in. We should put that in. It should get a well. I guess we should throw. A good we didn't do it. the um, and for the town hall. We were going to take eight thousand for, uh, or I'm sorry, forty two hundred for the basement windows. We're going to redo those. There's only. You have four. Yeah, but, but you gotta. Oh yeah, frame them and yeah. everything else. Uh, we were going to replace another AC unit, right? 
That was six thousand. Yeah, we should keep up with those. You did the power washing already. Well, it was no, it just was a rinse job. And we, and and we, we still, well, we still got the capital. The columns are coming up, right? But we haven't heard from. Yeah. We don't have any more progress on that. Yet. Yeah, but that salad point, salad port's been put off for long enough. Yes, that should be. I mean, it's it's pretty cold over there, and it should be. No, that was a. You know, that was a lot. That. that was an original one. Yeah. So, um, this is my first time through this part. Um, you come up with a project, and you got estimates. Do we put down? Okay, so the salad port is. I'm just going to say twenty thousand dollars. If you add everything up, that's what you guys need. That's what you put in to request that goes to town meeting floor for that job. And what we're starting to realize is because it takes so long, we add another ten to twenty percent on right. it. Well, yeah, because you know, right. inflation and they're going to go for yes. Because some of these things, like this one, has taken over three years to do. Okay. So, I guess you know, like like you're saying, it's going to be a Russell School if it doesn't get done. So I would say add up everything that we didn't get funded, and if you got five of the 20 that it was funded that disappeared, I guess mm -hmm. they, they should find it. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's, that's the other thing. We've got the two HVAC venting stuff that was one of those deals where it's partially funded, and we're not quite sure if all that Russell money is gonna be at be there when the next bill comes in. I know, but I'm looking, you know, where I say they should find it. All right. I'm looking at oh, it as agree. a taxpayer. We right. already voted for that. You voted for that. If right. they spent it on something else, right. somebody should explain yep. where it went. Right. And that's what we're, we are going ahead with. I've right. And, and not only that, <clears throat> what about the problem in the first place? You know, the Russell School, you know, that was a, a fund that was started out of the... That, what we actually wanted was there was a fund <laughs> with the rental money, just to go back. That had been rented, and it was sitting there, and it was not accessible by you know, the building committee or anybody else. It was a special fund. So what we asked for was for because we this is when we were going through all the buildings and trying to get you know seismic and estimates and all this stuff. What we originally asked for was to, and correct me if I'm wrong, Tim, was to use that money for Russell School, like instead of spending. We had money for Russell School, so let's use some of that money to study Russell School. We'll pay for the other buildings out of other money, and we'll use, leave some of that for repairing the roof as needed, and that kind of stuff. And they said, oh, here, you can use it for all these other buildings, and we'll put the money back someday. You know, that, that doesn't happen, so it didn't. But, I mean, you still could have used it for that building, but now I think it's pretty well wiped up. Yeah. And then, um, a meeting or so ago, we talked about the Gable Inns at the Highway Department, mm -hmm. um, and that should be funded, and we should ask for it uh, as a water and sewer um, user and payer. I certainly don't like the idea of sewer money going into the gable ends of highway. Mm -hmm. Granted, it's to me a real gray area as part of it, but it's not well. And that a sewer was that's what or a water their thoughts building. on that work too. Yeah. Well, and, and, and what we were trying to get at was let's stop doing that and get a, a maintenance fund at, at whatever price we all agree upon. If it's $100,000, $200,000, we just have that every year. Then we, this group figures out what projects are needed, prioritize them, and we just keep on going down them until... Yeah, and you yeah, have a buffer, know. like when the police station boiler let go. Yeah. That was a buffer there. Just it, there was, you know, you had to go to a special thing to get emergency funding to replace a boiler. I mean, that's just crazy. Yeah. yeah. You know, so you can we write an article, a warrant article, or whatever it's called, for coming for the buffer um, or count? Or that's the. Or is it too late? Well, Are we no, missing? we we have to once they put something in, and there, I think that we can do two articles right now. I think uh, there's a number of small uh, projects uh, that haven't been done and it's going to be around sixty some thousand dollars. And that'd be the Sally Port, the Gable End, yes. uh, the Put columns. those in and we'll argue well, about the way it was funded before. Oh, 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 so they did, they, they covered CPA that? is covered, right, okay. for the columns? That's, yes, that's CPA is covered. We're just okay. waiting on our... Yeah, that's covered. Okay. 
preliminary total to do the final bid proposal. And then still, just like we've always done, put the article in for a maintenance budget. Yeah. Okay. And they'll probably say we can't fund it this year because we have too many other things. Now, I will say, I guess the budget, which would be the maintenance budgets, are in, right? All of them are supposed to have been in a while ago. I don't know if I'm assuming it's just level funded because nobody ever asked Everything's me. level funded mm -hmm. yeah. this year. Which is not level services. Yeah. But I thought at one time there was something other than that Russell School Fund to take care of at least a little bit of roofing and maintenance. No, there was nothing. we always no. use that money to pay for that building and that's what we wanted it released for and they released it for all of the buildings. And Well, we did have about 18 months ago, we did have $92,000 in the Russell School of Balance, and we had what we called the Senior Center, and Town Hall was 50, a little no, over No, the Russell School was 20-something. But they've, the, a lot of that Between that, a lot of that went to, our problem was we were always saying we wanted the budget money. It's like, no, that's capital. If you know you need something, that's capital. So you don't use maintenance money for capital something you know that's budget. coming up. So we came up with a capital plan, mm -hmm. and then they used building maintenance money from another account to supplement the capital, which, I don't know, I was, I don't know what the, What's the it difference? makes no yeah. sense to me, you know, <laughs> it, it, you take, and they did it to several of them. It's not like every one was even, you know, if we known that, we could have pick, taken a couple of projects, paid for them out of that money, and went for capital for the rest. Why it ended up being a split, thing I don't know. No well, it's to make the books work. Yeah. To make so, it look good, I guess. I mean <coughs> if you want a motion I would make I, I can make a motion that says that we put in two articles for spring town meeting. One for sixty five thousand dollars to cover this the projects that are now unfunded. Okay. Okay. And maybe a few other minor things. And then a second article to go back to what we've always said that we need is a maintenance budget. Mm -hmm. Now that number we've thrown back and forth, we've always said it should be around 225,000. That's unrealistic right now. I would split that in half and just say, hey. Well, we don't, do you even know what it is for all the buildings now, total? I don't yeah. know. We don't have that. No, but the first time we came up and started coming up with projects, we were approaching a million dollars worth of projects. Yeah, we got over seven hundred some odd thousand dollars funded. Right. Okay, right. so we did pretty right. good there. Exactly. Right. Thinking about going Absolutely. forward. Yeah. With these. So. Right. Well, I'm saying as a as a you know, for instance, you know, five years ago, you know, we needed you know at, at least seven hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff that we figured out and got funded with you know over the past over the next yeah. few years. So it's about exactly going forward. You know, it's going to be at least a percentage of that. So it's not going to be zero. On that seven hundred thousand dollars that was spent in the past five years, um, each time you had to go to the town meeting to ask for that money, or was yeah. it? Yeah. We had a bunch of different articles. Yeah, there there was, yeah different several different articles, several, several different town meetings. Right. So I guess, I guess that's fair. People know what you're asking for yep. as long as that money is used yep. for that. Right. Yes. Um, the problem we had one time was we. <laughs> Somehow we, we made up a list and they wanted to itemize. So we made up a list and we itemized it. That was the first one I think we did. Yes. And it was a pretty extensive list. The problem was the way it was written, everything was pigeonholed into each uh, into, into that account. account. So if there was an account to change out a door for fifteen hundred dollars and something else came in a little less, so you had an extra two or three hundred dollars out of that line Could item. Use it. And the door came in at an extra hundred bucks. We couldn't do it because we couldn't take that money and put it in there without yeah, turning it back. Was like well, just forty-seven dollars. Yeah, it was. Yeah, we one couldn't so do it. The project. They killed yeah, the right. project. Yeah. Okay, so that's no. So we said we're not you, going to do that. We we wanted them bundled together, and what we bun did was we bundled them by the. They wanted something, so we bundled them by the bill to repair things. this, this, and this. Well, the yeah. problem was everything was pigeonholed, and I mean, it was like right down to the cent. If there was fifty cents left over, you <laughs> couldn't touch it. You had to turn it back. You had to go back to town meeting and to get the money. Turn it back. So, again, back to my motion. Uh, the second article would be 
I would I would propose now one hundred twenty five thousand dollars. Is that above? Above and beyond. Above and beyond what is yes. Okay. And some of the things that we can say is why we want that set aside is let's for instance DPW we're getting into the um, end of those trails. Oh, absolutely. If we get into a serious problem and I. And that could very well happen, that the, the, the employees down there have to vacate those, will have money yeah. to yeah, go the, do it, it doesn't have to be spent, it should be fun. It doesn't available. have to be spent, but we can also give a list of some of the critical right. things. Um, and the hope is that it's just like CPA money, we just keep on um, putting it into the kitty. So when we have a big project like painting this building, the other thing we, we can put aside some for the following year. I don't know. Tim, was one of the other? Should we have another article? We must be getting close on the money for the on-call consultant. Well, that was yes, the third one. You're absolutely right. Third one we should. Um, yeah, we've spent that. We've spent that. We need to put another. 50 yeah, there's in only there. a couple thousand dollars. We got to put in another fifty. The first that. one was fifty, and we've made it about what three years now with that. Yes. So your 125,000 is basically a start of a revolving account. Mm -hmm. Correct. And yeah. would this uh, committee be the ones that decide where it's spent? Well, select board well, spends. We suggest. We, we suggest that. Yeah. I would suggest that we would decide. Then go to the select I mean, board. Part of the tell. issue that we've well, been we dealing with too is the fact that every time we get to this point of moving forward, yeah. we have a new DPW director. Well, let's wait till he gets set right, up. Let's right. wait till the new job. <laughs> so then we wait again, mm -hmm. and another year or two passes by before we come around to do it again. Um, but in the past, they when we proposed the two hundred thousand, they said, "Well, we need a list of everything you think that that's going to encompass, so that we know what you're paying for." They want to know up front what we want to spend it on, but we don't always know. You don't know what's going to break. Right. Something breaks. It, you know, you want that available. But the other part of this is there's day-to-day -day expenses that should be part of a maintenance budget you know like the fire alarm systems being maintained and stuff like that that that's yeah. that right. happens floors, every being, day. floors being waxed yeah and, I mean, and that's what we're talking about this is the stuff that's not getting done you know this is the yeah. stuff that hasn't been done in these new buildings you've got to keep up with the floors or you're not gonna, you know, so you're gonna be back to that this established. floor is how old now a couple years four, anyway. four years well that was well, I mean, it, it <laughs> that was kind of the way. It, well, it does. That was kind of the way it was put in, also. But that was a. So, so if we need an electrician at the highway department because something's shorting out, or they get a new com air compressor and it needs to be wired in, um, does that money come out of this uh, maintenance budget, or is that like highway? Um, well, some originally it comes <laughs> out, and that happened not too long ago, and it came out of well, we have the. New electrical panel was one that we put forward as an article to upgrade. If we did need a new air compressor, we did have to rewire it, and I think that came out of highway building maintenance. That's mm -hmm. department, but, but that's but kind of stuff that you don't plan on normally. Right. That's that now is coming out as a big chunk. You you get a lot of things on every mine even buying a new air compressor, but it just is a faulty electrical issue, right. and you need to call an electrician. If they don't have this money, what what do they do now? It just takes it out of it the budget. It, it comes the out of the, see the, the way the building maintenance the budgets are budget set up. Yeah. Well, the building maintenance budget highway is set up for all the different buildings. And you can spend out of like, I think there's, give or take, there's like 5,000 set up for highway building maintenance. And there's maybe 60,000 at the police station. So you can take that money since it's in one line okay. or one under one number now, and you can play around with it a little bit. But like you said, and it happens in the highway department. You know, you've got a certain amount of money for roads. Now all of a sudden you have a culvert fail on you. And you spend $20,000 to have somebody come in and replace the culvert. That's coming out of highway money that you were going to fix roads with all year long. Okay. And now you're short. And there's no way of getting that money back. You know, there should be, a, there should be some money available for all departments to use that. So, you, you know, if something happens unexpectedly, you don't come up short and not get any maintenance done. Okay, Tim, so you're 65. Does that cover all the backlog? Uh, the ones I think the, the I think three so. The, the ones that projects. we have on we'll call the list, but we haven't really looked at the list for over a year. Mm -hmm. You know, added on to it because we knew that we were going to go down the road with the, the new buildings 
and our emphasis at the time was on uh, dealing with with that and what to do with Russell. So we kind of held off a little bit on adding on to the, because one, we didn't know what was going to happen with the buildings mm -hmm. for a sec, but now we do. And I think that at some point the springtime. I think, I think we the spring we should go through the remaining we need to buildings and get the buildings put another again. list. Mm -hmm. and, and look at them. But I'll still second Tim's motion just for discussion. Um, oh. I think that uh, you know that's a that's a great start, but I think for some reason it made select board nervous every time, as well as yeah. the DPW director being new every time. It sort of made him nervous, and I think maybe if we approached him with it, say, "Well, look, you guys are in charge of the money and the purse strings. How about if we say that you know any decisions are by the municipal building committee over a unanimous vote, or you know instead of just a majority vote? I mean, that might give them a little." I don't know. Well, remember even the first vote we had with the, the set of projects, which was quite a substantial amount of money. Yeah. They they didn't recommend it. Nobody recommended it. It was our right. committee that right. had to go town meeting right. floor right. and, and, and actually afterwards they were shocked that we got the money. Yeah. Yeah. And we've well, been very was, successful every year after right. that. Right, and that's, I mean, I, it definitely shows a, an amount of responsibility to scale back on the projects while these bigger buildings are going up. Um, well, I don't know why they wouldn't trust such a committee to make decisions on a, a, a meager budget of $125,000 to keep their buildings from caving in if need be. Yeah, um, and I think you've got to be somewhat conservative about what you're asking for. You know, like the 65 sounds good, but if you went crazy with it, then right. people are going to... Right. We just went and... Spend millions of dollars right. there, and you know, right. you got to be conservative in it. You know, yeah. So you got to you got to do that, and also have um, good information for people at town meeting. That yeah. you know why, what's the sixty five going for? And I agree, it shouldn't be just for that door because if you, the door is like say fifty bucks more than what you want, right. it should be. For, you list the several projects and and, yeah. and, and, and you have to get all these projects right. within this money. Thing. However, that's worded. Um, I would say, you know, I, I would be agreeable to that. As far as, um, you know, if it's up to this committee, um, if somebody makes it up to, says, yeah, okay, I'm not sure that a hundred percent vote is no, um, a good idea. I would say majority, super majority. Uh, uh, you know, something like that. Come up with a number. Uh, I know. In that case, just a vote is a vote. I mean, if it passes, right. that passes. Right. I mean, those are, they're, we're not making decisions on, on whole we're making the goal. whole building like we're doing across the street here. Right. We just need to fix things when they come, mm -hmm. you know, up for right. and have replacement repair. For because because if you do 100%, you could get, I don't see it right. at, at this table, but you could get one guy that's just like, I don't want to spend any money this year right. because I pay too much in taxes. And you could screw up the whole deal. Right. Yeah, that's true. You know? So I guess. I just try to make, Select board feel more. I, I understand. You know. Well, and I don't know. If, I mean, we're still uh, advisory board to the right. selectmen, so it still yeah. would have to go through them, I guess. Right. They, they have so the first strings anyway. There's a there's a fallback on that. You know. Well, what? Well, so if we all agree on this motion, I'll write it up. We'll put it in, and it goes to the select board. And are we talking all three of them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, and we definitely need the money for the yeah, all consultant because yeah, that's yeah. going to. Yeah. We got projects coming up. And unless we do another fifty. At this point. It was fifty for the on call. And that was at least two years ago, right, Tim? Maybe three. Oh yeah, we have. Yeah, we went. It's been all three, three years. years. Yeah. And a lot of that actually was supposed to come out. Of, you know, all the stuff that we did for Russell, Russell School schools should have come out. Was of Russell supposed School to come out of Russell School. Work that way. Yeah, did and we had to. We had to. Right. So they, you know, that. it's like I said, the money was there, and what we tried to do was to spend the money from the one building on that building. And and they, Larry spent some time in there doing. Some work. Spent oh, some it was a lot of a lot of time uh, we got, when we had the structural engineer go yeah, through. Yeah. And, and he had uh, several other. And then he went back through it again. So and above and beyond that, it seems he seemed to be working great with. Him. You know, he's you know. Yes. Had, had he's, any any. We've gone through the police station. He's helped us with the controls and the air handlers and you know, the duck were all of that stuff. He's 
been on board with that. And it's yeah. it's kind of nice to have somebody that you can call mm -hmm. in a hurry or, you know, get a, even the columns, you know, yeah. throwing ideas back and forth. Come out and the look. great thing with Larry is, is, is he has so many projects up here in town anyways. Mm -hmm. And when I when I do call him or Gary calls him, he says, "Well, I'll be up on Thursday afternoon. How about if I meet with you?" Then and he doesn't charge us for it. Then. Mm -hmm. If we just get together to ask him something, yeah, yeah. which has been really yeah. good. No, it, it it's worked out very well. A lot mm -hmm. better than the first mm -hmm. hire. So probably back to the sixty-five thousand. Yeah. Um, do we need to research what what we currently have funded, and then have a concrete number for select board? But now we'll, well as a placeholder. We'll do, as a placeholder, right. we can, we we'll can use it as a placeholder. We'll do some research because we don't know. There's a lot of variables because we're not sure how much of those capital projects, if that supplemental money is going to be all there for what, and who's going to. Yeah. The so. the way that we and it's been put on hold for a while because. Of Chris coming on board and trying to catch up, and uh, I think the way it's going to, uh, if I go down and sit down with Chris and, and tell him what we want to do, um, I think he can really help us out because he's been trying to pull in some of those budgets and get those numbers mm -hmm. because uh, he's been working with your son closely on that. So I think I think those numbers are probably around right now. Mm -hmm. Because um, a lot of that, a lot of the money that we were spending on this change in this building reverted back to those those issues, the same issues, trying to get those budgets in line. So I think we got some hard numbers that we can go through. So I can do that tomorrow, possibly. Is you think Chris is going to be pretty well tied up tomorrow because of the snowstorm? I don't, know, I don't know what his schedule is. I'll right. call, call. He call may or may not be. In the morning, probably would be. But there's, there's two things I need to talk to him about. I'll talk to him about these line items. Yeah. So you got 65, 125, and 50? Mm hmm. I'm good with that. As long as, you know, the, the big thing that I see at town meeting, people are going to say, well, what the heck is this all for? Yeah, but we need to get over and explain. We explain it, or we have a, you know, put it in the yeah, I'm sure, sure by the time town meeting comes up, there'll we'll be some things on your list yeah. that you can, uh, you know, $125,000 for instance. Right. Bang, bang, boom. And you're going to come up with, so Tim will probably come up with, well, we just found this out between the time that we made this vote and the time this meeting is happening right now. You know, there's a few things that could use attention already. Mm -hmm. Uh, one thing we should think about too is just Russell School. Just what do we need to do in the immediate future? Um, because no, we know nothing's going to happen. Been about, it. It's been about. I'm trying to think now. It's probably been about five years since we've replaced some slates. We could definitely do that. I think the last time we did it was around three thousand to replace about a hundred. I'm sure probably you're looking at five or six now. Is water coming in anywhere? No, at all? I've been no, up there. I sealed anything. the flat roof last year. But as far as, you know, windows, walls, anything, there's no wind. Once in a great anything. while, if it's really windy, you will get a little bit blowing up into this. But there are some slate shingles. There's probably, you could probably go through and place easily another hundred now. Huh. Um, and the rubber part, I sealed it, you know, last year. And, and that could up. be one of those 65,000. It could be. One of those 65,000. Yeah. The, uh, what, the, the slates? The slates, yeah. the 10,000. Yeah, that's usually, that's, we did that the first, like, Three years I was here. The first year we did, we had to go in and change about a hundred slates, you know, mm -hmm. just to quote on a hundred. They went through and picked out the worst broken ones and stuff like that. And then we did it again about two years after that. But it's been, it's been seven <coughs> years now. Probably. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's been three, at least three, mm -hmm. probably four or five. Mm -hmm. You must be getting at least a little bit of storage rental from the library for storing there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <it's laughs> <a good one. laughs> They, they, was they, went over, looked at. they went over and looked at it, yeah. and uh, it didn't look like what it was when they had it together the last time. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want this now. <laughs> oh, it, it, it's huge. Yeah. Yeah. There's no oh, decision the yet. It, it, it could work. I haven't seen it myself. But, well, you know, it's the, way, a big the way it came apart, it's probably not going to go back together right now. Mm -hmm. but but, so I think they're ta they were talking about, the architect I think went over with mm -hmm. Patrick. Mm -hmm. And basically I think they're looking at a portion of it. 
I don't even know. I've never seen the thing, and I don't. I even looking at it, I can't figure out how it goes back together. But there's like all different levels, and it probably would stretch from the front of the town hall to the back if it was laid out that way. I'm not even sure. It's but massive. It's it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. But I want to nice. see a little work on the central core. So yeah, if they could take if, a if piece of it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, if they could take a piece of it, it's very nice. I mean, it's beautiful. So we do have a motion on the floor. Shall we vote on it? I'll second it. Damn, second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. I have a question about uh, requesting monies from the CPA. So if we, if this committee wanted to request monies from CPA for any building related things, or we talked about at our last meeting, document preservation, that would we would we one of us would go to the CPA committee with a proposal, and then that would become go to town meeting. Yeah. Right. But, That's an but it's too late to do it for this round of town meeting. Would have to go for the fall town meeting for that. that yeah, because the CPA already had their first meetings. The, They're yeah. They they need to. <laughs> they have to try to sequence these these yeah. um, meetings a little bit better for this stuff. Because yeah. I went I um I asked our curator of maps who they use for document conservation so it gave me a good company to look at that they use and I can we they just need from us what it is we want to conserve and they can give a quote but we have time that's what I'm saying to figure that out because you had said there's plans and a couple of maps and speaking of CPA and pres yeah. uh, preserving uh, records uh, I did ask uh, Mr. Nixon, if we could use CPA money, if he thought it would be good to use CPA money to build another environmental room down the basement mm -hmm. for records. Yeah. And he said, yes, that's, yeah. that's exactly. We should so, go for that, definitely. Uh, that's something we feel that we should. I know Gary has a wondering where it can go <laughs> down there. You're lacking <laughs> space. <laughs> but I think there's a space and area that we could. And you could maybe, I was thinking you could probably add on to the one we have a little bit uh, to the end. That's a the tough area one. Was. I think. I mean, there's not well, a lot of room down there. I know. There's not enough room, but I think we, we need to address and it. And if you're going to tie it in with this, with the heating system, the tying in the mm -hmm. heating system is going to cost you a lot more than all the other building of the room and everything's going to be. I know. And there's other alternatives to do with that, deal with that. But it might be something we can get Larry to look at and start designing something like that. Because with everybody coming back here, mm -hmm. there is the, it looks like there's a definite need for that. And the hope is that someday, very within ten years or so, we won't need any room like that. But in the meantime, the right? We, we need to deal over. with it all. Yeah. So I'd like to make another motion to uh, for us to get Larry involved and uh, give us. A quote. Let's see if the money passes for. Huh? See if the money passes for Larry first. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that. We got to give him projects to do. Though. Oh, he's got projects lined up. More projects. <laughs> we can put it left. Uh huh. What does he have left to do? We're still waiting on the final review of those two ventilating projects over yeah. there. So we won't have any money left. So we'll <laughs> the CP, the, all the columns, he hasn't, I don't think he's turned a bill in for that yet either. He's pretty he's much close said he's with finished it, but, that. But I haven't seen a number no, I haven't seen it either. All right, we'll just have to wait until we get that refunded. So our, we've already overspent what he has. Well, we're, we're very close to, getting, to not getting having any money left. Okay. And that 50 was, like I said, set up quite a few years ago now, and it, we've been working on the same account. For mm -hmm. So, you know, it sounds like it's been conservative of all. It has extremely. Yeah. But we, we, the last couple bills have been high because we had to take it out of that account instead of the Russell School because it wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And there was an anticipation that two of the major bills was going to come out of Russell School. 
but they took it out of this account. And plus, isn't he, he, well, he's also involved in some of this, the new projects going up, right, on the Matrix? I don't know. All that's been paid money. for. He's, Oh, that's we got the invoices on most everything. No, I meant for the new buildings coming up on that moving matrix. He's listed as a couple of things. So we need, if there's a question, we need some yeah, funding well, available for those. They projects. took money, so <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, they took the money for that. They took it for Larry. Yeah, the two of the big bills for Russell School was supposed to come out of the Russell School. No, I'm talking about like the, he's on the matrix for the moving of the I senior know, center. But because they took it out of his line item, we don't have the money well, that's what I'm saying. now we need for that. They're that going project. to have to come up with right. something that's what if I'm they saying. want to use them for that's, that. Right. Mm -hmm. So he hasn't done any work yet? Or, or no, limited. he hasn't done any no. of that. Right. Well, that's just more uh, Reasons. Justification to go and ask for the uh, the fifty thousand. Yeah, with that money needs to be there for because when yeah. you need somebody you need to it. double check, and that uh, was yeah. something that selectmen mm -hmm. approved already that they would use them for certain things. You were, right, you, you need some money things. available so you could call them if you right. need them. Right, but there's no money there. Right, so we re replenish the kitty. Mm -hmm. California. Uh, Larry seems to have been pretty efficient. You know, we he, you know most of the time. He's real helpful with Gary and figuring stuff out and working with yeah, those controls and stuff. And then, uh, you know, other other things that he's not willing to work. If there's no work there, he's, he's just do this. And yeah. he's, he's pretty efficient. I mean, I will say Tim stepped up because he was supposed <laughs> to be doing some of the layouts here. And Tim stepped up and did it. And yeah. So, you know, we he does get busy. But like I said, he's you know he's he's down to earth, easy to get along with, and easy to work with, and realistic. A lot more responsive than the first guy. Ooh. <laughs> so I take back my motion because we won't have the money. <laughs> <laughs> the other other buildings at this point yeah, we're kind of yeah. I just put them on the yeah, agenda think, just in case yeah, yeah. Want to talk no, about it. that's, that's fine. fine I um, personally think like you said you know maybe this spring everybody could you know we got some new members and stuff go around take a look at the buildings that you know mm -hmm. that need you know the existing buildings yeah. that are going to need we have two new people that's what I'm saying we need. Yeah. right get around that would be good. Yeah. so would that be something we could do in the spring, like on a Saturday or something? That's what yeah. we did last time, yeah. I got Go roaming mm -hmm. around yeah. as a group? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we could see? Mm -hmm. You know, go through, check everything, look at everything, mm -hmm. come up with some ideas. Is your new DPW worker seems to be here, Ed seems to be working out down there, and handled the, the latest tragedies with the water leaks and everything? And yeah, it's been going. He's been pretty well, yeah. We have, I, don't, I haven't met him yet. Yeah, he's Is pretty he, nice so far. Not, are we likely to have him into one of our committee meetings for any work that needs to be done down the garage anytime uh, within well, a years? Yeah. Or he, I've talked to him about that. When, you know, said when you feel comfortable and you've got your, everything pretty much the way you want it, we, we as a committee would be more than happy to have him. Yeah. And I said, you know, I told him a little bit about the history um, the, of the sewer plant and also the, the trailers. And I said, you make the decision and we'll help you through the process. And we'll support it. He, he was on board for like a week, and I went to talk to him, sent him an email, and then talked to him about the drainage ditches in town, how yeah. they don't drain. And, uh, he was pretty good. Yeah, um, he's, he's, he, he listened. He uh, called me back uh, for feedback, you know, and well, we'll see. And I guess he's looking to get some money at town meeting to uh, yes. do some work on it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that, the one time that I did ask him for something, and he was new, and, you know, I gave him like one week to go and know where the 
highway garage was, and then I went there, but it was good about it. So, and I know another person had an issue with some snow plowing, and uh, they said that he was good, that he listened and responded in a nice way. So. Yeah, well, so if we can, we can get them to approve that site down there and make it more efficient for the fellows who work down there, it's great. Um, it's been stagnant. I mean, that, but that's like, that's like, we spent a lot of money down there. You Other than the police station, that's <laughs> probably mm -hmm. the next one. I mean, we got the, the, oh, yeah, it all we got the pole barn all closed in. Yeah. There's still some electricity that should go in there. The new roof the, on, the new roofs. We got all new roofs, you know, that. Bunch of the highway solar. garage now with the new windows, the insulation. I mean, we don't use hardly any regular heating oil. It's pretty much with, between the, the extra waste oil burner that we put in. It, it's pretty much and free we're heat to, start to say. Paying that that storage charge because you guys aren't using anything, huh? Well, <laughs> we. <laughs> you know, it, that it doesn't use a lot, anyways. But uh, you know. But it's good that you have to have it for a backup in case something happens. But I will say, between the two waste oil furnaces, that the other one really only kicks on for like the offices and bathrooms, and it's a backup also. But mm -hmm. you know, it's you know that was new too. So and it's it's not cold in the oh you know, not well the new mechanic deal. keeps it cooler than the other mechanic did. But you know that's it's mm -hmm. it's kind of nice to actually see something running on free stuff, you know. Well, it's, it's good for anybody that changes their oil at home. It's right. easy to get rid of it. And, uh, right. You know, and we and I set up the tank so that anything gets drained out. We have a smaller tank now with a bottom drain on it, so any water we let sit off, pour it off. Otherwise, they were dumping everything into the big tank, and we'd have to have Sin or somebody come suck it out. So we're getting there. That's, you know, like I said, a lot of the equipment's inside now. One of the things that did come up at the fire meeting today was the barn that we have now up there in North Hadley. And one of the ideas that somebody brought up in the meeting was to take a look at that, get it fixed up a little bit. Because there's some stuff that's sitting outside in town that doesn't have to be sitting outside. Well, even your landscape trailers would be good to get those you know, undercover. Some trailers, winter. you've got you know, soccer goals and stuff like that that you could put undercover, you know, even some stuff that, you know, parts or whatever. There's a lot of stuff that could go in a, a barn like that, just to be protected, rather than sitting outside in a field somewhere. Well, currently the select board is renting it, and they were planning on renting it They're, next they year. They are renting so it next year, but we put that forward as yeah. to as to yeah, take to care. Give a heads up. <laughs> right, is to get that as have it as a storage space. But like I said, there's a lot of stuff that sits out, you know, off season or whatever. And this thing's the the public safety complexes. Up. Right, some trailers could go in there, mm -hmm. you know, if you wanted to back in and grab one. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. what's the difference if it's sitting outside or in a barn? Um, the other thing, too, of course, once the building's up, you'll have some security up there, too. But, you know, and the other thing was to do about the, the land up there. You know, try to get it, you know, like a hay field or something like that around it so the grounds are maintained. It doesn't look like it's in the middle of a <laughs> brush pile. That sounds like a little project that could come out of that. $25,000 budget. Yeah, that could be another capital. Uh, capital. Yeah, capital. I mean, we can entertain possibly putting garage doors on the, the long side. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's going to be rented next year or this yeah, we coming year. Yeah, so, but so hey, once, the, once, but once the station's up, then we can concentrate on trying to keep up with the, the whole picture. But I can see putting a whole bunch of garage doors on the long end. Yeah. Than actually being able to use it easier. Okay. Any other subjects that we're interested in? Nope. Nothing pressing. Nope. Okay. Uh, when do we want to meet next? Is there any, I don't know if there's anything that we really need to meet about immediately. Or no, nope. or we'll just play it by ear and see what comes up. <laughs> the, the bids will be in for the senior center, hopefully by by the time our next meeting. 
uh, that we have that does anything for us. It'd be nice to know what they're coming up with for maintenance budgets for those meet for those buildings. Mm -hmm. um, that's the first one in line, I guess. Even though, you know, it's, at the speed they're putting this project together, it's hard to imagine they have any budgets figured out. Where the library has a much more lax pace. Fire station has a nice oh, easy pace. Yeah, but I mean, there's been a lot of changes too. So now yeah. we're getting to get what we're going to be, what's going to be in there. So now you should be able to come up with how do you maintain it? Yeah. As far as types of materials. And Those are the things equipment. that I'm interested in, but yeah. I don't know if they'll have any kind of numbers like that. I mean, is that something that usually comes through? That I don't know. I've never. <laughs> I know. Well, that was that was part of the. Yeah. Well, that was part of their task was yeah. to come up with something like yeah. that. Now how involved they get, I don't know, or how far out they'll go. But right. It's nice to nice to have that. But I do know we need to, you know, we've let a lot of buildings slide. So yeah. there yeah. are you know, the floors need to be waxed at least once so a year and that kind of stuff. Maybe they need help with that. I mean I know the library trustees do that as part of their budgeting <coughs> yearly for the Goodwin. So when the new library is up I'm sure the trustees will be working on it. Oh that. and hope like I said hopefully the architects and stuff but have right. recommendations for yeah, yeah, some yeah, they are life, to life some expectancy point. of yeah. equipment. Yeah. Yeah. So, so do they have a janitor that comes around and waxes these floors or no, we have a company that we hired the last time. The janitor for a while was doing it, and then she lost her help or something. So we've got a company that this is the one we've been done. Um, the rest of them, obviously, we weren't doing if you're going to tear them down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but you're going to have two new buildings. Right. Yeah. And, then and Goodwin and this one. Right. So, um, you know, it's either you're hiring them one or two employees or do you hire a couple of employees or do you hire a contractor right that now. comes in a couple of, you know yeah. and we do have a janitor right now that you know does takes care of some of the buildings right. well actually most of them I think all of them so but you know that's another thing that Chris has brought up to me was you know I think you know he's looking into that too of like you know is it cheaper to hire out for certain portions and mm -hmm. or hire yeah. You know, of course, then you hire somebody and you don't know if they're going to have time to wax. You know, wax the whole floor and like here is, you know, they did it on a weekend, holiday weekend. And, you know, you've got to be. Yeah, I know, but you put it in their contract that it's done four times a year, twice a year, whatever, and they have to find right, it. If it's a, right. If it's a contractor, you know, that you're hiring out, then yes. You, but like I said, certain people don't do all of that. So, you know. Yeah. But yeah. And then you get, of course, it, like I said, town hall, it's certain buildings you've got. Corey checks and stuff like that, and they don't. Some rooms they don't even go in unless somebody's there to you know watch them. So I didn't mean open up that can. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right; they need to have. But that that's you know that's yeah. the kind of stuff you got to. It, it's not as well. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Right. Maintenance. The maintenance plan and the crate. Gary, do you even know when they come in and do uh, do the general maintenance in this building? The cleaning? Yeah. <laughs> no. I think you need to know. Well, that's what Chris said. Chris said to me, he goes, are you in charge of them? I said, no, I don't even know what the contract is. I don't know exactly yeah. what. I, usually, it's funny, because it's supposed to be Thursdays, but sometimes on a weekend, the trash cans get really full. So I don't know. I think it's Friday and Monday now. And I go, what? That's Friday and Monday. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah. Yeah. But it makes Monday. Monday, Monday especially. Monday, Monday. I, I, I think it's. Yeah. Are they doing it twice? A, I don't know. I have no idea I anymore, and nobody does. I have her number. Yeah. I call her if there's a problem. I haven't called. I did see her. They, she is starting to do down the DPW with some of the trailers and stuff. Um, might be have had some. It might be wise that, that we know when they but do that's, what. But that was one something that Chris did bring up. He said, yeah. "You know, who's in charge?" I said, "Not me. Nobody." Is. Although I, I was told that I was, or he was told that I was, but. Yeah, you should know when contractors are coming in to do work, what their schedule is. To make sure is. they're doing their uh, job right. correct. Yeah, they're doing it. And if yeah, there's this sensitive areas, maybe you or another employee, you right. know, if you come in on overtime, to be there while they're in the right. We did that when the floors were waxed. Of course, this is a, you know, there's a lot of prep work, too. Everything's got to be moved. Yeah. And, you know, you slide yeah. stuff yeah. one way and, you know. And they have to yeah, they strip yeah. it, wax it. But yeah. they so did work, yeah. and it's obviously you know they did. It's been here for a while, and it looks like it's been here for a while. Well, they waxed it. Well, let's see. It's been a, almost a year since. Yeah, it was see, waxed. that's too and, long. And you should be doing it 
before winter and after winter, I say. At the very year, least. Twice you know, a year. Every quarter, at the, you know, is, is regular, but at least twice a year. At least twice a year. Just because of the salt and the stuff that comes in. All right, I, I do have one question before we wrap it up. Um, when you write up these three articles, mm -hmm. it goes to the selectmen, um, and they yes. vote if they want to put them on? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And um, then what? They're going to ask us to come in and say why. Okay. So if we, if, if they get on, one, two, three, whatever, all of them, mm -hmm. then I guess we would probably should meet and make sure everybody on the board is um, up to speed why we want that mm -hmm. money. Right. In case we're asked individually or as a group at town meeting or whatever. We'll, uh, well, yeah, we should put something together, yes. Right. Try to work on that. Well, in regards to Larry's funding, it would be nice to have a list of everything he's accomplished and what we've done so that people know yeah. that was, we spent on this, this is why we need an additional funding so we can do things like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if it was you a know, three year period, 50,000 went. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's good. Yeah. You know, it depends on the projects you're doing. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Know, the number of absolutely. projects. And it's hard, it's going to be, it's yeah. various. Yeah. Yeah. I should be able to do that. Um, so the other thing is March 10th, I think it is, the, uh, mm. the Hooker School is going to have an, an open house for everybody that's ever gone there or whatever that wants to walk through for the last time. And, um, March 10th? March 10th, yeah. I believe. Sunday? Yeah. Um, Who's sponsoring that? Uh, the historical society, I think. Yeah, Is that yeah, so? I think so. At the Hooker School. Though. And I've heard something about there may be things for sale, like uh, hooks that were on the walls and yes. things like that. So, so it's that's the 350 of doing that. Yeah. Uh, the Hopkins alumni. Buy a hook from Hooker School. The Hopkins alumni. Hopkins. Yeah. yeah. So they're also, there's a few things that they're going to try to salvage and put on plaques, and, mm -hmm. and they got some um, local artists doing a few things. and. Uh, the, the selectmen also voted to allow as many bricks as we can get, and we'll be talking mm -hmm. to. I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that Associated gets the project to demo, and then I know one of the gentlemen pretty well, so definitely push hard to allow us to gather up a couple thousand bricks and, and uh, what they want to do is just sell those off and put that as a scholarship for for the schools. Mm -hmm. That's good. And there's a couple of artists already that are talking about putting things on the bricks. So you can buy a blank brick for X amount of dollars if you want something from one of the artists. And there's specific artists that I guess some people would love to have something done by. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's really starting to steamroll into mm -hmm. something really pretty nice. And uh, at some point, there's going to be an auction with the rest of the stuff that's left in the school. The furniture. The furniture, furniture and everything else. Yeah. But there also, there's been a push that to maybe have a day before that to allow people to go in and possibly purchase stuff like by the line. That, pre sale. How that works. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, sale. some people have asked. Well, for they that. talked about a tag sale, and then somebody else said that no, they're going to have an auction there. Mm -hmm. So, auction is. Well, the auction's been approved because we're not paying for anything. <laughs> There's no upfront cost. The door, yeah. It's not 30% like normal. No. Which is good because 30% of. Nothing is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Any other questions? So we'll leave it open ended, I guess, for our next meeting, unless something comes up. And but a month from of, now, we'll yeah, I guess probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have a whole new system that we're going to start shortly on uh, getting the meeting rooms. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's going to start at the end of the month. So might as well just wait until that goes into effect. So. And we'll have another room available? Yeah, we will have another room available. When is, um, when is the town meeting? Should we set up a meeting before Thursday. that? Or Thursday. The first Thursday of May. May, May 2nd, 2nd or something? Yeah. We have time to do that. Yeah, we have plenty of time. A couple of meetings before that. 
But yeah, we'll be having a, another meeting room across the hall, and I think that's where we'll probably be starting to meet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, motion to adjourn. Motion, motion to adjourn. adjourn. Second. Second. Or whatever. Either way. That's exactly how I uh, left. Yeah. <laughs> uh, everybody in favor? Yes. Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs>